Since the advent of penicillin in the 1940s, medications have played an important role in the treatment of infectious diseases. Anti-effective therapy initially focused on the development and use of antibiotics to treat bacterial infections. In recent decades, the focus has broadened to include infections caused by organisms other than bacteria. The rise of infections such as coccidioidomycosis, HIV, and genital herpes has fostered the development of numeral antifungal and antiviral agents. Resistant strains of tuberculosis have led to the use of new drug combinations and longer duration of therapy, while the rise of methicillin and vancomycin-resistant bacteria has made treatment of major infections increasingly complex and difficult. Nurses are frequently called upon to administer anti-infective agents and must be aware of the signs and symptoms of infection, the medications typically used in treatment, and the associated precautions and side effects. In this program, we will discuss the ways in which infection occurs and the methods available to assess it. Each medication is introduced using two names. The first name listed is the generic or chemical name. It is followed by one of the medication's common trade names. Bacteria are single-celled organisms that cause illnesses such as tuberculosis and pneumonia. Bacteria may be aerobic or anaerobic. Aerobic bacteria require oxygen to multiply and survive. An example is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, normal flora in the GI tract, which can cause infections in various areas of the body, including the urinary and respiratory tracts. In contrast, anaerobic bacteria do not require oxygen and may in fact die when exposed to it. An example is Clostridium tetani, which is the causative organism of tetanus or lockjaw. Another way of categorizing bacteria is whether they are gram-positive or gram-negative. Gram staining is named for its inventor, Dr. Hans Christian Gram. It is a multi-step process using crystal violet, Gram's iodine, and sufranin, a secondary stain. The gram-positive bacteria retain the purple color from the crystal violet, while the gram-negative organisms are pale pink. As seen here, the streptococci bacteria is gram-positive, while Escherichia coli, commonly referred to as E. coli, is gram-negative. Some antibiotics, such as trimethoprim sulfa, Bactrim, and penicillin G, are highly effective for treating gram-positive organisms, while others, such as tobermycin, nebsin, and gentamicin, are more effective for gram-negative. Viruses are intracellular parasites that live and grow inside other living cells. Viruses can cause a number of diseases, including pneumonia, hepatitis, encephalitis, AIDS, and herpes. <laughs> 